we go. Welcome everyone. Good morning. It's uh, your isolation meditation for uh, Tuesday, May 26th. And again, we're switching it up a little bit. We have another former vicar of the congregation, Pastor Jeremy Kaler. Uh, welcome. Good to have you here. My pleasure. I, I've got, um, got it down here that you vicared way back in 2004, 2005. That sound about right? Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. So maybe uh, update everybody on what you've been doing since then. Sure. Um, I'm, I'm recently back in Michigan. Um, took a call at the end of 2019 uh, to come, or 2018 into 19, to come to St. Paul's down in Stevensville. Uh, so I'm in the same conference now, uh, and I get to see uh, you guys uh, every once in a while during the year. Um, I left uh, Crusader. I went back to Seminole first, and then my, my last year was interrupted. Uh, I got uh, called to active duty uh, as part of my military time and had to leave seminary early during that senior year and go overseas for, I was gone for about a year and a half. And then when I came back uh, from Iraq, uh, spent some time in a few churches, then I got signed finally in 2008 is when I finally was a Time. And that was to uh, St. John's in Mequon, Wisconsin there. So not so far away from the uh, seminary to keep an eye and all. So um, and then and then till uh, till this last uh, year, I've been here at at uh, St. Paul's now for, you know, a little a year and a quarter or so um, getting still to, to love Michigan and uh, a, a different part. You know, it was one thing being up in uh, Grand Rapids area. It's a whole different thing down here on the, the Lake Michigan uh, edge uh, down here on the southwestern part of the state. Um, almost seems like a little a whole area just by itself. So, yeah, it is. It's pretty down there. So, so tell yeah. us about uh, uh, St. Paul Stevensville, the congregation. What's is it? Big church, little church? Um, I would probably call it a medium-sized church. Uh, I think. I'm not sure exactly what uh, Christ or Savior's numbers are these days, but I probably say it's right around the same size as uh, Christ our Savior. Um, I think a number of years ago it used to be bigger, um, probably, you know, five, six years ago. Um, but as is natural, there's an ebb and flow. And uh, since I've been here, um, it's just uh, kind of crept below a thousand members. So it's it's probably in that 900 to a thousand member range. Uh, it's still bigger um, than us. And, and you have a school okay. too, right? Yep. Yep. We have a, we have a K to, our preschool to a school. Um, that we, we had a bunch of faculty and first time for me and that, um, and I have a new associate, uh, he's came here this last summer, so he's less than a year. So, um, it's been interesting to have not just a, an associate for the first time, but have a school and faculty and this size of a congregation, uh, for the first time. And we have, uh, Michigan Lutheran high school is not too far away, about five minutes down the road. Uh, a lot of opportunities here in Southwest Michigan. Yep. All right. Uh, favorite flavor of ice cream? <laughs> um, my wife would probably tell you I'm boring. I like just vanilla. Uh, just oh, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't teach you that, I, but then I, like I did just you. vanilla because you can always add vanilla. <laughs> yeah, you can always add to vanilla, or you can like vanilla. Uh, and and most of the time I. I'm, I'm, I'm boring. I even have vanilla malts and my wife says, ah, oh, it's a waste <laughs> of a malt. <laughs> um, how, uh, how about uh, a way in which this uh, COVID outbreak has affected the ministry there in Stevensville? Um, it probably has affected us most in, of course, not being able to see people. I think the, that gets to me, if we will, every day is not being able to see my members, especially those who are in the hospital or have issues and as much as you want to get there and see them and give them that comfort of God's word it's it's thing you got to do over the phone and we all that you know over the video and over the phone is is good it it, it takes its uh takes its toll at times with communication and you just want to have that person to reach out to uh, yeah. but other than that uh everybody's in the and everything else so that's been hard 
But uh, really looking forward to meeting everybody and work again. Uh, and our praise and we've gotten into great ways. Um, how about an update on the family for us? Sure. Um, I have my five kids, and I, when I was in Rockford, my oldest was in preschool there. I want to I want to say, uh, Jade is now a, a freshman in college, or just is finishing up. I think as of last week, she finished her freshman year. She went to MLC this year. Uh, she wants to be a teacher in um in, like a senior like a high school. So she's the high school route. Uh, I have two brothers, Jen and Leanne, that are Mich at Michigan Lutheran High School, uh, and I have two at St. Paul's Lutheran here um, in Stevensville, right off the, the side of the parking lot here. So, um, all five that I think change, um, you know, from in high school, I think my youngest is finishing up her third grade year. So, um, I think I had three. I had my third when I was there in Rockford, Juliana. She's now in high school. So. Oh, terrific, terrific. So I see that um, you're playing hurt. Uh, it's not that they wear, wear um, weird clothes down in Stevensville, but Pastor Kaler had some shoulder surgery. So anybody's wondering why he's wondering. got that on there. So um, yeah, just in, a, in the line of duty. <laughs> so uh, here's another question for you. Um, something that you, you're really good at making on the grill. Um, I would tell you I'm good at making everything on grill because I could complete, um, my family would say I overcook everything, but I like things well done, so I cook everything <laughs> that way. Um, uh, my family would tell you I'm terrible at cooking on the grill, but at least it's not, not going to give them food for me. Oh, okay. So, so you are boring. Well done. Well done steaks and vanilla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vanilla, you know, steaks, uh, hamburgers are well done. Oh, yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> um, maybe uh, maybe one more thing here uh, to kind of wrap it up. Uh, what, what if, something that's been in your prayers lately. Um, I think lady in my prayers has been more um all the all the people i can't see because of the uh, things going on and uh I pray for my member of course too but um even the people that we can't reach right now people that were having a harder time just going to have that wonder conversation about uh lord with and at the same time i i rejoice that through online stuff and all this technology um maybe there's people watching that don't know and maybe they're gonna, when we open up again, are going to have that uh, desire and a spirit in their heart to, to drive them to gear and, and just try a uh, congregation out and just a, a welcoming face and, and phrase and, and way I can connect with them. So I'm, miss, I'm missing people like everybody else is. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, that in my prayers, a lot of the people that I, I, I know are fearful because of all the things going on. Uh, and as much as we can try, we, you know, we have to give them what that we have and, and the joy that we have, risen Lord who is in control of all things. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, we join you in those prayers too. It's, it's time to, sure feels like it's time to be back with each other. You know, there's only so much of this. Yeah. Life, so. Well, you know, I appreciate you making some time for us, uh, coming up off the uh, injury, <laughs> injured reserve to talk to us. That. So it's really great to reconnect and Lord's blessings on the ministry and family there in Stevensville.